Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016. And I'm joined by Wynne Malambo, Deputy Minister for ICTs, Postal Services and Courier Services. Mr. Malambo, where is Zimbabwe when we think about moving towards an information society? What sort of progress has Zimbabwe made? Thank you very much, Claire. In the short time you've given me, let me single out major projects. One of the major ones is laying fiber throughout the country, creating fiber loops so, that, so as to create redundancy. We are also linking these uh, fiber uh, cables within the country to the undersea cables so that it will be able to access with the required international benchmark speeds the information from outside and also transmit information outside. We are doing that. So you've got access. How are you making sure that rural communities get access? Yes, we are, we are creating or installing what you call communication information centers or CICs in the rural areas. So far we have done so in eight what we call provinces. Our target is to go down to more localized centers which we call districts. We have 50, 52 districts in Zimbabwe. This is what we want to do. A CIC is a one-stop shop for business, small businesses, small to medium businesses in the rural centers, where a person can do anything he wants there, from accessing internet, doing research, lamination, uh, and sending documents, including printing, in the rural areas. What about women? Because we know that there's fewer women who actually have access to the internet and actually have access even to broadband. We are doing a lot, Claire, because we are very mindful of the three pillars uh, of, of um, SDGs. That is economic development and social inclusion plus uh, uh, protection of the environment. So pertaining to women, firstly, we are concentrating on conscientizing them so that they understand they are also included in the mainstay. We run road shows for women. We call the program Girls in ICTs. And we also give annual awards for women, for those who excel in uh, ICT products and services. And of course, there's the youth too, trying to use internet and broadband for education. For youth, yes, we are doing quite a lot. Aside connecting about 9,000 schools, which is our target before the year end, we are also creating what we call Youth Innovation Fund, where we are providing, providing resources for the youth because they are very, very enterprising. All they require is now. We want to tease the talent in them so that they bring out this devil inside them in terms of innovation. We are doing that as well for youth. You say that there's been a lot of progress towards an information society. What would you say is the one big challenge in the years ahead? The one big challenge is to get all stakeholders on board to understand so that we work as a team. Government, private sector, civil society, international agents and the churches as well. It's such a mammoth task. You need to raise uh, their awareness to the same level so that they cooperate. Some of them consider their little domains as their turf. And therefore, if you try to tell them to uh, adopt ICTs, they consider that as interference in their domains. So it's about public-private partnerships? Yes, yes. In fact, our government has um, drafted what we call a bl blueprint document, Zimbabwe Agenda for Sustainable uh, economic um, um, transformation, Zimasset, where they singled out ICTs as the singular sector that is overarching and therefore must be in all the four sectors of the economy according to that blueprint. They have also set an interministerial committee chaired by Foreign Affairs Minister to ensure that SDGs are implemented within the time frame announced by ITU. Wynne Malambo, thank you very much for giving us an insight into the progress that Zimbabwe is making to becoming an information society. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Claire.
Era lá para já. And please do keep on tuning in to the ITU YouTube channel where we will have a number of interviews this week with ministers, heads of UN agencies and experts from the private and public sector.